did Glorilla fall off? Has she lived up to the hype? Or is it too early to say? We're going to talk about this and dive into this topic. From Memphis, Tennessee, Glorilla started rapping when she was 16, but originally wanted to be a singer. She claimed she lost her voice because she smoked so much weed, so she switched to rap instead. In 2019, she dropped her mixtape, Most Likely Up Next, and her EP titled P Status in 2020. Gorilla was dropping freestyles, grinding, being consistent because she knew she had something. Until 2022, she released FNF with the producer Hit Kid. The song ended up going viral on TikTok to the point there was an FNF challenge. The song kept rising till a remix came out with Lotto and JT, adding more fuel to the song. The song peaked at 42 on the Billboard Hot 100 for 20 weeks. She got signed by fellow Memphis rapper Yo Gotti and signed to his CMG record label in July of that year. She was then featured on the CMG compilation album, Gangsta Art, where she released her first song on the label titled Tomorrow. In August, she released her next single, Blessed. And this is where she debuted a more deeper tone in her voice, giving it her own signature style, and it worked for her. While Glorilla kept rising in fame and popularity, Cardi B decided to collaborate with Big Glow, dropping Tomorrow 2, which peaked at number nine on the Billboard Hot 100 for 22 weeks. At this point, this was Glorilla's biggest song, and she was on cloud nine. She had hits, record deal, and even got to perform at the 2022 BET Hip Hop Awards. She finally released her first project under the CMG label, which was an EP titled, Anyways, Life's Great, in November. At this point, she's a well-known artist in the game, and she's very likable. Nothing about her gave off someone cocky or a person who claims to be perfect. And that's what resonated with people. All the attention was on her, but the thing is, that's only one component. You're only as big as your last hit. So Glorilla would release numerous songs, even one with Lil Durk, but nothing was sticking. At this point, this is where people started to worry. All of a sudden, Glorilla, who came in the game pretty much sound like a nigga just giving it up, basically kind of rapping about shit that like men and women could kind of identify with. Glorilla, if you look at her tweeting her new songs, she sounded like a city girl. That's not what makes her win. I think that's reductive. I think that's actually going to hurt her. Here comes Sexy Red. Sexy Red is talking about her shooting at her baby daddy. She's just keeping it ratchet, keeping it a bean. She's not doing too much Hollywood shit. And that's what usually fucks up artists. I think Glorilla has been tainted by two things. Her label wants to sexualize her i'm sorry nobody wants to see glorilla there's a picture of glorilla doing almost like the little, little kim pose where they got like the pussy hanging out basically and little we don't want to see that i'm sorry to tell you i gotta tell everybody her latest single she released called liquor some was a different sound and vibe she had prior it was definitely intended to be a hit she used a three six mafia slob on my knob sample it's more of a sexual song from beginning to end and she gets straight to the point I mean, the song is cool, but it's not what built her up. While Glow was looking for her next hit, artists like Ice Spice and Sexy Red started to emerge and take over the scene for the women. The attention was no longer on Glow. And that's when people started mentioning the two words every rapper fears. And those words have fell off. I do think the attention she has had has waned a bit, but she just needs to get back in the mix. But I do think she's talented and she's a breath of fresh air. I just hope she doesn't let her label or the industry change her for the worse. So do I think Glorilla fell off? Eh. No, I think it's too early for that. But I do think she's falling off though. There's a difference. She just gotta get back in the mix because I do think there's a place for her in the rap game. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment below how you feel. If you feel like Lorilla fell off, if you feel like she didn't fall off, just let me know. Comment down below. Subscribe. Thanks for showing love. Appreciate it.